Anthony Grasso here, bringing you financial news that you can use. In this particular video, I'm going to do a stock review on Bed Bath & Beyond. Is this stock worth investing in right now, given the fact that there's a short squeeze in effect? Well, let's find out together. I'm going to go over a summary of the company, its product offerings, recent headline news, financials, analyst projections, and give it my buy, hold, or sell recommendation for both your short-term and long-term growth investors out there. And as always, folks, don't forget to smash that like button down below. Definitely helps. And consider subscribing. and hit that notification bell for like your daily stock reviews and recommendations from an unbiased source. So let's get right into it. This video is brought to you by Weeble, as of always, an online brokerage trading platform where you can buy stocks, options, ETFs, and cryptocurrencies. If you sign up today and deposit any amount, you can get up to 12 free stocks by using my referral link in the description down below. All right, so everybody should know what Bed Bath & Beyond is if you've been living on planet Earth in the past 10 years. The company sells an assortment of merchandise in the home, baby, beauty, and wellness markets and operates under the names uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, Bye Bye Baby, and Harmon. Harmon Face Values or Face Values. The company also operates uh, Decorist, an online interior design platform that provides personalized home design services. The company provides an assortment of national brands and proprietary owned brand merchandise in primary destination categories, including bedding, bath, kitchen, food prep, home organization, indoor decor, baby, and personal care. The company operates omni-channel platform consisting of various different websites and applications and physical retail stores that I've been in quite a few times. So let's look at the biggest news article of the day that came across the wire. So Bed Bath & Beyond share soared today as retail traders active on social media piled into the stock, encouraged by news that GameStop chairman Ryan Cohen placed another bet on the struggling retailer. Now I'm going to go through this article because it has a lot of good information on it from CNBC. I think you have to be a pro member to actually uh, look at this one. So regulatory filing Monday evening uh, showed that Cohen's venture capital firm RC Ventures bought distance out of the money call options of more than $1.6 million on Bed Bath & Beyond shares with strike prices between $60 and $80 a share. Investors profit from calls when the underlying securities rise in prices. The strike price is where the security can be bought by the option holder, meaning Cohen is betting that Bed Bath & Beyond can rise as high as $80 a share. The stock closed yesterday for only $16 a share. Now, the call options that Cohen purchased expire in January 2023. Now, the new purchase grabbed the attention of retail traders on Reddit's Wall Street Bets forum. Now, trading volumes in Bed Bath & Beyond exploded today with more than 160 million shares changing hands as of noon. Now, the company only has about 80 million shares outstanding, according to the regulatory filing. Now, Cohen's first uh, revealed he held nearly 10% stake in Bed Bath & Beyond through RC Ventures in early March. And fact set says his holdings amounted to 11.8% as of late March. At that time, the GameStop chairman wrote a letter to Bed Bath Beyond's then CEO, Mark Triton, saying he believed the home goods chain was struggling to reverse market share declines and navigate supply chain woes. He also urged the retailer to consider buying its Bye Bye Baby chain. Now, later in March, Bed Bath said it struck a deal with his activist firm to add three people chosen by Cohen to its board of directors effective immediately. Just three months later, Bed Bath uh, abruptly replaced Triton as CEO in June, naming restructuring expert independent director Sue Galve uh, as the interim replacement. This came after the company suffered another quarter of sluggish sales and heavy losses. Now under Gove, uh, Bed Bath is trying to turn its ailing businesses around, but analysts remain unsure if it will succeed. The company is discounting one of the in-house brands uh, created under Triton, uh, CNBC reported earlier this month, and there could be more to come. Now, creating in-house brands for bedding and kitchen accessories was core to Triton's turnaround plans, which he took from his experience at Target, but he ended up striping a uh, bed bath of items that customers were looking for and investing heavily in things that he that didn't sell as well. So this is some of the major news that, that spilled over uh, to, to get the Wall Street bets people to say, okay, well, there's 47% uh, shorts in Bed Bath & Beyond right now. 
and then they took this news and they just ran with it. So let's just go ahead and look at some of the fundamentals of this company right now and briefly go over that. So the stock is currently trading at $19.71 a share right now with a market capitalization, I don't know, we give it now maybe $1.7 billion. Put that in consideration, it was valued at $600 million just a week ago. Now the company is projected to have 7.3 billion dollars of revenue for 2022 with negative earnings of 866 million dollars now the revenues are projected to decrease over the next few years to around 6.79 billion dollars by the end of 2025 and still have negative earnings of 131 million dollars so they're definitely not going to be profitable anytime soon now their their, uh, their forecasts remain, remain unprofitable now let's look at some of the uh, key measures of this company real quick. Just go over a few of them. You know, because the earnings are negative at, at Bed Bath & Beyond, the price to sales ratio is the most appropriate valuation measure. The PE and the PEG ratios are not meaningful due to the company's negative earnings. Therefore, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond seems valued at a discount with a price to sales ratio of 0.11 times. Okay, they haven't updated that. No, it is overvalued. Uh, right now at the jump right now. So, uh, and let's look at the, the profitability uh, right now of the company. Now, losing money on an operating basis, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond has poor profitability characteristics in comparison to the uh, industry peers. Now, while its gross margin is below the median, its operating net margins are among the lowest in the industry. They don't pay a dividend right now. Uh, and with the growth of the company, let's look at that real quick. Now, the earnings trend has been weak. Over the past 12 months, the company has lost $9.81 per share. I think that's now up to $10 per share uh, compared to the prior period's profitable results. However, this performance was to be expected, though, as the typical company in the sector, the specialty retail, also posted weaker results. Now, the earnings trend at Bed Bath Beyond, it's unprofitable and losses have increased over the past five years at a rate of 50.9% per year. And finally, looking at the financial strength of the company, it's one of the most highly leveraged companies in the specialty retail industry and has a debt to total capital ratio of 118%. Additionally, the percentage of debt used in its capital structure grew this year. The company could face troubling servicing its debt as both its interest coverage and quick ratio show that neither operating profits nor current assets alone are great enough to satisfy uh, interest obligations. Um, the company has negative shareholder equity, uh, which is more serious situation than short-term assets not covering short-term liabilities and debt is not well covered by operating cash flows. Is this worth uh, noting? It is worth noting though, insiders over the past few months and year have been buying this stock up like crazy, like it's water. So what do the analysts uh, specifically say about this stock? Well, most analysts are a sell recommendation on Bed Bath & Beyond. The average uh, target price over the next 12 months is only $3.50 a share, with a high estimate of being $7.50 and a low estimate of a dollar. Now, the street quant ratings uh, has a sell recommendation on this company. It's driven by several weaknesses, which they believe have greater, greater impact than any of the strengths they have and could make it more difficult for investors to achieve positive results compared to the most of the other uh, companies that they uh, that they cover. Now, a company's weaknesses can be seen in multiple areas, such as feeble growth in its earnings per share, deteriorating net income, poor profit margins, weak operating cash flow, generally disappointing historical performance in the stock itself. Itself. Now, the Ford Equity Research Report also has a share recommendation as well as a sell recommendation. They project Bed Bath & Beyond will strongly, strongly underperform the market over the next six to 12 months. This projection is based on their analysis of the three basic characteristics that they look at in stock performance, earning strength, relative valuation, and recent price movement. Okay, so uh, let me bring it back over here. Now, so am I buy, hold, or sell recommendation on Bed Bath & Beyond? Well, here are my thoughts regarding everything that's gone on in the market today regarding Bed Bath & Beyond. Now, Bed Bath & Beyond has changed its business strategy in 2019 uh, to importing off-label products and selling them as their brand. Inflation is boosting this approach. Now, insiders have bought this stock, but Bed Bath & Beyond is still a risky financial position with more debt than equity. Now, with the run-up in stock price, now, you know, they might have some... <laughs> It seems that most of the bad performance of Bed Bath Beyond is attributable to the negative performance history after 2019, post-pandemic. Now, the stock is being down by short selling 
with some 47% of shares being shorted right now. And the analysts are also posting low price targets like I just showed you for the stock, which has driven it to a multi layer low valuation. Now, however, a change in their business model may improve future margins, and there may be a fundamental uh, potential for this stock in the future. But a major risk for this company is outstanding $1.3 billion uh, in debt. While market equity was at $650 million just a week ago, but now it's risen to $1.9 billion. If the stock turns back down, this may cause liquidity issues as the company has negative cash from operations at negative $337 million in the last 12 months alone. Now, investors are bullish that uh, Bed Bath & Beyond need uh, to believe that the company has a path to overcoming these and other difficulties in the years ahead. Now, because Bed Bath & Beyond, they have a thousand stores that have changed their strategy from selling their own merchandise to importing low cost off label brands and selling them as their own brand at a higher margin. Now, this change in strategy was initiated in 2019 and managed to cut costs. However, it did drive away some customers which were expecting the established higher quality. Personally, I'm not going to buy anything from Bed Bath Beyond if they just took a cheap product and slapped their name on it. But that's just me. What do you think? Now, the potential of this new business approach started to show when inflation started increasing in the retail sector a few months ago. Now, when, when high inflation hits an economy, consumers shift their preferences from premium to affordable, giving Bed Bath Beyond new customers. Now, this is slowly revitalizing the company, and now the analysts are monitoring to see this, if this new approach is sustainable. Now, Bed Bath Beyond is hoping to increase all of its sales by offering the products that can be inspected in store. Otherwise, cheaper online retailers move in and diminish their profitability. The company also cut the dividends and lowered the employee count from 62,000 uh, in 2019 to only 32,000 in 2022. While initially this seems like negative signal, cutting costs and maintaining the pro profitable stores in a business may actually position the company to increase cash flows and to cater their products uh, market capacity. Now, why, while the business is still indeed in rough shape, it definitely is, uh, this implies that it is now better managed and that the company can find its balance in the market. But what we have today specifically, so now, now let's talk about what, what's happened today. Today, it's a social media fueled surge in Bed Bath & Beyond shares. It's a solid opportunity right now to sell those who have bought in while it was really low, even, even just a day ago or a week ago or months ago. Meme traders snapped up the stock, encouraged by news that GameStop chairman Ryan Cohen bought call options, betting on the retailer's rise. Now, the stock price was also likely boosted by the short squeeze. That's the phenomena that occurs when a stock uh, that investors had bet against rises instead, which forces short sellers to buy the stock and cover their positions. Now, Bed Bath Beyond short interest float or percentage of shares traders have borrowed to bet against is more than 47%. I am betting that Bed Bath Beyond will make a comeback one day, one year, <laughs> but the reason spike in stock price is premature. Uh, now, I'm going to break my recommendation into two parts. One for the long-term growth investor out there and two for the crazy short-term day trading meme short squeezers out there. Now, for the long-term growth investors who want to buy and hold long-term, I would avoid this company right now. I'm a strong sell at the moment and only put a 12-month sustained price target of only 5 to $6 a share in the normal trading markets. Now, the current valuation has gotten well ahead of the risk-weighted fair value of the company, and I suggest that investors sell shares or hedge positions in an options market that has been lifted by increased volatility in recent trading. For those short-term squeezers right now, go ahead and play that game, but hedge your bets, folks. How high can this thing go before it pops? I can't say for sure, but there's a lot of money being made and traded right now on the moment, but make sure not to be the ones holding the bag in the end. So that's what happens with these uh, short squeeze at some point. You kind of got to give up and it will crash again. But w when will that happen? At what point? How much money can you make before it just pops? 
I don't know. I'm not going to speculate on that. So if you want to roll the dice, you go ahead and roll those dice. So there you have it, folks. And as always, don't forget to smash that like button down below. Definitely helps. And consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell if you like your daily stock reviews and recommendations from an unbiased source. Until the next stock update video later today, folks. Ciao.